Hey everybody, this is Ramon El Magnifico coming to you from Seattle, Washington on what it is the inaugural episode of the famous Pipe Smoker Friday show. Woo! Uh, so, welcome. Uh, so the idea for this came out uh, from something that I've been doing on Instagram for the last uh, three years, maybe four Um so uh every friday i've been posting uh, a picture and um you know about a famous pipe smoker um and i give a lot of information of what they they did you know to be famous and all of that stuff so uh i've been do doing that every friday so i started the uh, hashtag uh famous pipe smoker friday um so when i stopped making videos about two years ago um well since i moved here to seattle almost three years ago now so wow so that means that I've been making those posts on Instagram for maybe over four years now. Good God. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so, you know, I, that's, I had the idea of, of, of making those posts into a show. And here it is. So, for the inaugural show, I, you know, want to celebrate what would have been the 112th birthday of a man best known as the crown, as the clown prince of crime, the Joker, uh, Mr. Cesar Romero. An inspiration to the Lat Latino community, Romero was born to Cuban parents in New York City on February 15, 1907. He attended the collegiate school and Riverdale Country School uh, before working as a ballroom dancer. He first appeared on Broadway in the uh, 1927 production of Lady Do, and then in the stage production of Strictly Dishonorable. His first film role was in 1933's The, Sh the Shadow Laughs, after which he gave strong performances in The Devil is a Woman and in Shirley Temple's Wee Willy Winky. Interesting name. <laughs> uh, tall, suave, and sophisticated, Cesar Romero had actually two claims to fame in Hollywood. To one generation, he was the, the distinguished Latin lover. Uh, <clears throat> uh, a, a star of musicals and romantic comedies, and the uh, rogue bandit The Cisco Kid in a string of low-budget westerns. However... To a younger generation win on television, like moi, <laughs> Romero uh, was better known as the white-faced, green-haired, cackling villain The Joker in 1960s Batman TV series, <clears throat> uh, and also as a bubbling corporate villain in an outpouring uh, on Walt Disney, of Walt Disney comedies, uh, just like in he did chasing a young Kurt Russell in the uh, fan-packed The Computer wore Tennis Shoes. Fans and critics alike agreed that Romero was a um, major talent who proved himself an enduring and versatile star in an over overwhelming variety of roles in a career as an actor, dancer, and comedian that lasted over 60 years. Although Romero became quite wealthy, in the many years that he worked, he had no need um, to work, excuse me, <clears throat> but he could not stay away from being in front of the camera, and who can blame him for that, right, YouTubers? <laughs> uh, and he continued to appear in a broad variety of film uh, roles, but surprised everyone in Hollywood by taking on the role of the aforementioned The Joker in the hugely successful Batman series. He refused to shave his mustache. <laughs> uh, and uh, on close observation, uh, you can see the white clown makeup that went straight over his uh, much-loved mustache. The appearance in Batman, the appearances in, in Batman were actually only a small part of the enormous amount of work that Tom Romero contributed to television. He guest starred in dozens of shows, including uh, Rawhide, 77 Sunset Strip, Zorro, another Disney classic, 
Fantasy Island, uh, co-starring, well, starring <coughs> another uh, Latino pipe smoker, Ricardo, Ricardo Moltaban. <coughs> and also guest star uh, on um, Murder, She Wrote. However, it was the Joker for which his TV work is best remembered. And Romero often remarked that for many, many years after Batman ended, fans would stop him and stop him and ask him to chuckle and giggle, just like he did as the Joker. Romero always obliged, of course, uh, and both he and the fans just loved it. What a great guy he was. Throughout the remainder of the 1980s, uh, Cesar Romero remained busy, and even at the age of 78. The ladies still love his charm, and he was cast as Jane Wyman's love interest in the top-rated primetime soap opera, Falcon Crest, uh, playing Peter Stravos from 1985 to 1987. And although Romero stopped acting in 1990, he remained busy uh, regularly hosting classic movie programs on cable television a talented and much loved icon in hollywood he unfortunately passed away in 1994 at the age of 86. so there you have it that is our very first famous pipe smoker on the famous pipe smoker friday show uh so I hope you enjoyed the, the information that I that I gave you. Uh, a, a lot of this I usually post it on, on Instagram, like I said. So what I'm going to do now uh, is promote this show on Instagram and still post it on Fridays. Uh, but actually, uh, you know, leave the, the, the bulk of the information uh, for the show. Uh, so if you like the show, go ahead and, and hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends about it. Um, I'm still working out the kinks. Um, I do have uh, more things in the background now. Um, a few things. <laughs> um, and yeah, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DL Magnifico. And until next week, may God bless you all. So long. Thanks for all the fish. Ciao.